Tools needed for this install is your ratchet, seven millimeter socket, eight millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, six inch extension, and your panel popper. Welcome to Spider Auto. Today I'll show you how to install spider headlights on a 2018 to 19 Ford F-150. So let's get started and open up the hood. First step, using your panel popper, we're gonna remove 14 plastic push pins so that we can uninstall the radiator shroud. Okay, now go ahead and uninstall your radiator shroud. After that, we're gonna disconnect these two sensors on the grill. Just press down on the tab and disconnect. Grab your panel popper. Disconnect the clip from the grill. And after that, using your 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove four bolts across the top of the grill. Next step, we're gonna uninstall this bumper trim that goes across the top of the bumper. So using your seven mil socket, remove two bolts. And then after you remove the bolts, we're gonna pop it off. And we're gonna do the same to the other side. After removing the four seven mil screws, we're ready to remove the upper trim. Next step, using your eight mil socket, we're gonna remove two bolts holding the bottom of the grill. We have one here and one here. After removing the two bolts, we're ready to unseat the grill. This next step, you're gonna need an eight millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, and a panel popper. So first, let's remove this eight millimeter bolt right here on the bottom of the headlight. Now using your 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove one, two, three 10 millimeter bolts. After removing the four bolts on the bottom of the headlight, we're gonna use our panel popper and separate this plastic trim that's connected to the bottom of the headlight. Just press down on it. Next, using your panel popper, we're gonna remove this plastic push pin right here. And after that, remove these two 10 millimeter bolts. Now we're ready to unseat the headlight. Push down on this plastic trim so it's not in the way. And we're gonna carefully pull the headlight forward. From here, disconnect your side marker bulb, press down on the tab, disconnect it. And on the back, we have the high beam and low beam connector. Press down on the tab and disconnect that. And here, turn signal, turn it counterclockwise, and disconnect that. Bring over your headlight. We're gonna have to transfer over this bottom bracket onto your new headlight. So using a T25 Torx, we're gonna remove three bolts. There's one, two, and three.
I'm going to remove your bracket. I go ahead and bring over your spider headlight. Go to mount your bottom bracket. Gonna line your holes up and then reinstall your three T25 screws. Now that we're finished installing the bottom bracket, we're ready to install our headlight. After installing your bottom bracket to the headlight, go ahead and bring over your spider headlight. Go ahead and grab your turn signal socket. Before installing it into the headlight, make sure the rubber gasket seal is intact to prevent any moisture. Turn it clockwise to lock it in place. Go ahead and plug in your side marker sockets. Make sure it's secure. Plug in your high beam and low beam. Make sure that's secure. And then make sure your negative wires match up with the negative wires. Now we're ready to seat the headlight. On the top here, there's a guide pin. You wanna make sure you drop it into the hole. And on the bottom, there's a guide pin. Go ahead and line it up with the hole. Put the bottom one in first. And then the top. Reinstall your plastic push pin on top of the headlight bracket, along with your two 10 millimeter bolts. Go ahead and clip this plastic piece back onto the bottom of the headlight. And then reinstall your three 10 millimeter bolts here here and here. And after that, reinstall your eight millimeter bolt that goes right here. Now that we have our driver's side headlight installed, let's repeat the same process to the passenger side. Now that we have our headlights installed, let's reinstall our grill. Next, reinstall your two 8mm bolts, securing the bottom of the grill. Now that we have our grill installed, let's reinstall the upper bumper trim. Next, reinstall your two 7mm bolts, Securing the bumper trim. Now repeat the same process to the opposite side. After that, go ahead and plug in your two front sensors back on the grill. And after that, reinstall this retaining clip back on the grill. Now reinstall your four 10 millimeter bolts across the top of the grill. Next, go ahead and reinstall your radiator shroud along with your 14 plastic push pins. Now that we're finished with this headlight install, let's close the hood and test all the headlight functions. 